Hello, and welcome back to episode 23 of Rule the Waves 2, German Brawlers, where we are in the middle of a war with Russia. An oversight that uh, I noticed. We had not turned up the intel effort for against Russia. But our new dreadnoughts are working up at this very moment. Did lose one of our heavy cruisers. I would like to get more out, but that might have to wait. Uh, we have a lot of our ships raiding. Some of the AMCs have finished working up, so we're going to set them on to raiding. And we're going to get our fleet escort destroyers onto active fleet now that our dreadnought should be finishing working up at any moment. With that, I'm going to go ahead and expand our docks, and we're going to design a new battle cruiser. Now, for this, actually, I want to take a look at our Elsass. Using 14-inch guns and triple mounts, and actually, I might just... Uh, I don't like the way the superstructure turned out, though. Kind of want to just design off this. Oh. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a screenshot of it so I can reference it as I build out the battle cruiser. All right. So, no, I, I want a battle cruiser. Eh, that looks halfway decent. To make her identical, we would have to have triples, 175, increased elevation, just the 4 inch secondaries, 24. Singles, medium AA, um, it'll be heavier, maxed out, 27 knots, engine priority oil, belt of 13, normal, 2 on the deck, which is weak, 21 inches on the conning tower. 18 on the turrets with 5 inch turret top and 2 inch secondary and the best torpedo defense we have. Now she's virtually identical as things stand right now to our, our new dreadnoughts. Except the turret weight is significantly improved. How about that? Huh. Anyways, before I get too distracted, uh, we have air directors now. I am going to subtract, well, we'll just leave it there for now. I don't think we have dual purpose for 5 inch. That is correct. We'll keep the 4 inch. I do not plan on an intermediate battery for our battle cruisers. We'll subtract one turret. Use that to gain some speed. And I think that's about the limit before you're adding a way too much weight per knot. That's 31 to 32 is about 800. And then we have about a thousand. No, 800, and then 16, 1,500 tons. Of 32, I think, is about the max we're going to get. That, that's complete with the same armor protection, which is not something I'm used to. But we also have an add-in the seaplane hangar. Get our catapult. We'll put a midships. We have a nice clear area in there. 
give it three float planes. Now put us over. Also up the caliber. We're going to do that. We'll have to reduce speed. Let's see if we drop to 30 knots, can we? We reduce the fewer fewer shells for a larger caliber. I'm all for. I think 16 inch is a little bit out of reach unless we want to reduce the number of guns, which I don't. I would like to add a couple of torpedo tubes. Subtract a little bit of belt. Gun data looking like. Yeah, I'm not surprised she has no immunity zone. Let's see. Got quite a bit of deck vulnerability. Do an inclined belt. Wouldn't be more expensive. Forces it onto the deck more frequently than the belt, and actually, we don't want to do that. Magazine box protection look like. I'll put the box at eight inches. And the Or no, at four inches. Four and twelve. We'll have a belt of six and a deck of two overall. Now, there are certain things I definitely don't like about the magazine box protection scheme. But I kind of want to try it out with something. I'm inclined to go with more deck for the battle cruiser. The deck is heavy. Add some belt. Belt coverage is fine. Hurt face. You can get within 10,000 yards with current technology. Means with 16 inch for facing those. Going to be uh, 12,000 yards. Then we don't have a 17 inch gun yet, 18 inch. Poor performance compared to our other high quality guns, 20 inch. It is pushing out to 12,000 as well. So similar. Go back to our 15. And I'm not seeing too much I want to change from here. Okay, Goibin. I'll go with Goibin. Let's see. That puts us not too many light guns. There's a decent argument for specializing in one. Going as heavy an armament as you can. Actually, can we... We still do a purpose. I thought we'd research that, and it looks like we have. We can't do triples, though. That and we can't do heavier. That saves us a little bit. 50 tons. And frees up a lot of slots. Um, there's a, a strong argument to specialize your anti-aircraft defense, but thematically I, I don't like doing that too much. So I will leave some light guns, but I will be primarily focusing on the dual purpose armament and the medium anti-air. So a thematic, not an efficiency choice. With this though, I'm pretty happy with the Goyman. Yes, I really want to armor him that much. Go ahead and figure it out. And uh, 
Hopefully these will finish working up and we can see where they're going to be at. Mecklenburg has finished. About what I expected. Additional funds. One of our raiders is torpedoed. But survives. Not as much, but we expected that. Convoy defense. I need all the help I can get in taking out enemy ships. Because we have two dreadnoughts. No more. Do the usual. Take our screening destroyers onto defense. Lock the view and see what we can see. Yes. Yes. Scouts go out. Our convoy gets underway. And there's the enemy. Go for 24 knots for the approach. Like they're headed kind of up this way. Well within range to start. We have identified it as a heavy cruiser. All 24 guns firing on it. Splitting up though. Yeah, it looks like a heavy cruiser with her escort and another one with her escort. Well, that's her escort. This is some other ship. No hits as yet, and we hit their magazine and they blow up immediately. What we want. First hit explodes them. Already like these new ships. There's the enemy heavies. Mecklenburg takes a hull hit, does not penetrate. Also something we want to see. And then we're starting to get 14 inch shells into them, which we have very good armor penetrating shells. So that should work out very well for us. We bounce a round off our turret top. get a 14 inch hit into what is now identified as the Kirov class battlecruiser and another one that seems to be the primary target at this time checking to see we recently got the above mounts so if and when I get a chance to retrofit the Mecklenburgs or LSAS class I may convert those submerged ones. Engine room hit, penetrating. Not good. But we have not armored these quite enough. Wanted to maintain that 12 gun broadside. Ooh, two more. Also penetrating with only one hit of our own. We're going to turn around. They have our range, taking too many hits. Not ideal. Get one more hit on them. Their destroyers are moving in, so they may be trying to scare us off. Alsace whole hit. They're retreating before us, that's acceptable. Don't want them to get too far. We do have weak decks. We will start to pursue at this point. Got another head in. What are we looking at? They are within range, long range, of torpedo bombers. Within range of medium bombers. And we have no dive bombers. Krasny <laughs> Krim closing in. 
as we lay into the Kira, continue to lay into the Kira. And our secondaries engage the Krasny Krim now. How's the Elsass doing on speed? Yeah, she's taking quite a bit of damage. Krasny Krim is doing a turn away, so we will turn into that in case she launched torpedoes. The Gordy over here. Kind of meandering around. Getting pre pretty consistent hits with our secondaries. Turn back out. And try to match since they are turning away at this point. Disable turret. Night time is falling, which is not ideal. Our destroyers are now laying smoke, and I may fade behind them at this point. Looks like one of their battlecruisers was slowing. We'll go ahead and bring it down. 20 knots. Our destroyers take care of that Gordy. They've decided to engage. No. Definitely don't want to get too close. I'm sure our, our close range hits have been hurting them as much as they've been hurting our own. They just have more ships than we do. It's the bad situation. We have a destroyer trying to close in. There's her turn away. So... I may reverse course and come in behind this Kirov class. And that destroyer continuing to be a pest. Keep turning away. Fine. Change course now that the Vidney finished doing her thing. There we go. Another head into the Kirov. Gordy still around? No. We're pretty much pushing their fleet into our air cover, but that shouldn't actually even be a factor at this point. It's too late in the day. Okay, getting a few good hits there on their still fully functional battlecruisers. And another one. We're going to turn back in towards them because they are turning away. Trying to screen for their Kirov class. There we go. 14 inch hit into theirs. It's going to bring us up to 21 knots. I don't want to lose the Elsass. And she's still very limited in her speed because of those early engine hits. We have a Kinberg. Kinburn. Cross deck firing. Kirov, which I think we've seen before. Old 15 incher. This one being an older 14 inch cross deck. Pitiful armor. And the uh, Archipelag. Which is older, but I hadn't seen it before. Inburn. Okay. Let's keep maneuvering. We have this Gordy and this Kirov that is broadside to us. Yeah, we'll continue to turn away. We, we don't need to rush this battle. We have plenty of time. Our destroyer is pushing that Gordy away. So we get two more good hits into the Kirov. Come back around and we'll keep turning because that Gordy could have launched. And now... Will turn for their general direction. There's a ship. It is a destroyer. We're going to turn into it at this point. It's close enough. I'd rather shorten the range than give them a good chance of a uh, turning away broadside torpedo. Okay, we've got a light cruiser. We've got this one as well. Could have launched. Good hit into that light cruiser. That one's apparently a light cruiser as well. 
Good hits into that light cruiser. Should be done for. Now we have this ship. Its position, I feel comfortable turning away. Everything's murky now with how hectic and with the fall, fall of night, this battle is just confusion now at night. All right, so we can come around. We had one ship that was traveling this way, but I'm not seeing her, so she must have turned around. Ship traveling slowly. There's some more. Turn in. Supposedly a destroyer. I'm going to turn away because we don't want to get broadside by... If we turn in towards this ship, we expose ourselves to these two. So, turning away behind this ship, extending the range that the torpedoes from this one would have to travel. And that puts us in position of these guys. We're going to keep continue to turn. Go head to head, and they turn around, which that's fine. We'll continue to turn, because they might have launched. Still took a torpedo. Took two. Probably from this guy as they turned. How was the Elsass doing? Not bad at all. That torpedo protection system really proving its worth. But she has slowed further, which is the big threat. Continue pursuit of this ship for now. We've seen her maneuver pretty rapidly. There's a slower ship up here. Interesting. We'll come in close. Along her port side. And we'll turn in. Prevent it from being too close to the other one. So that is a seaplane carrier. Well, that was not a mi misidentification. Turn in across the bows. The other ship. But we're... Focusing on the seaplane carrier. So we'll do an S turn and turn around. The MOSFA is now torpedoed. The ship is not moving, so I assume oh, it sunk, whatever it was. I'm going to head due west. Looks like they probably headed further south. Yeah, let's head south. Mosfa takes another torpedo. And I'm going to get our destroyers to properly screen now. What is our squad max? 16. That's not very good. What we have, though. There's an unidentified ship. And there's some more. Come back up to 21 knots. Lots of screening ships. Close range, we're going to turn in. Ooh, this is, this is bad. Keep maneuvering. Short range, a lot of light hits, not too many heavy ones though. Heavy guns getting two more hits. Receiving one medium. More heavy hits. Okay, it's going well so far. I feel likely we're going to get another torpedo here any moment. A lot of hits going on now, including three on this unidentified battle cruiser. Yep, there's what I was expecting. Mecklenburg takes a hit, a torpedo. Inconsequential, must have hit along the belt. Good protection there. Keep on this course to get out of the torpedo of the Kirov. Take two more though, probably because we did keep going that direction. Critical hit, two adjacent turrets knocked out. That's a bit more significant. 179. Elsass is dealing with five. Oh, what's the Metalone Birds? Still has good, good max speed for now. Guessing this is the damaged Kirov. So we get another hit into the Kirov. Disabled, or, yeah, destroyed one of her turrets, just as we've lost one of ours. Alright, they shifted targets to the Kinburn, which is going pretty slow. 
Penetrating hit into the belt. And now they can't decide between the two. Got another couple of hits that we're just targeting everyone up in here. We're gonna pass close to the Kinburn. Dropping some hits into the Kirov while we do it. Alright. I think we're clear of torpedoes from the Kirov. Close in on the Kin lay into the Kinburn. Kinburn should be done now. Oh, not that close. Turning away. Taking gobs of of hits now. We launched one of our torpedoes, apparently. And the Elsass takes her turn. Now we'll continue the pursuit of the others. Kinburn's a burning wreck now. Don't waste too much time with her. Try to close in on this battle cruiser, which does seem to be going a little bit slow. Zoom out a little bit. We don't want to get get caught blindsided. We want to start maneuvering to avoid torpedoes from these two ships. All right, we're starting to get hits in on this battle cruiser. We're gonna shift our destroyers back to support. I'm gonna send up the black flag. Three, three heavy hits into this battle cruiser. Oh my good grief! What are you doing? Oh my! That was nerve wracking. Enemy shit is hit by a torpedo. See, we're getting a steady stream of one to five 14 inch shells into the. Okay, never mind. She's done. Oh, and there's a torpedo incoming. Should pass between our two ships. And it does. Alright, that's two battle cruisers. This battle's making me. It's bad for my heart. Wow. Some of this has been absolutely crazy. Go ahead. Unleash my destroyers. They're all going crazy now. Mecklenburg gets hit by two more torpedoes. Okay, it's not too bad. The rudder is jammed. We're gonna call a general disengage. Ship is hit by a lot of torpedoes. We're gonna wait for the Mecklenburg to finish her her jammed rudder. We're going to generally try to disengage with our destroyers screening us from it. Take a slow pass. Yes. Our stars are going to town now. I, I don't think they need any more TP. It's good, guys. Not that that's going to stop them. No, I don't want to run for hours. Come on, Mecklenburg. You can do it. Especially now that they're starting to close in a little bit. Okay, the Me Mecklenburg has regained rudder authority. That might be permanent flooding, which makes me nervous. We've got quite a bit of time to go and are actually not close to any ports. Let's come east. Come up to 10 knots. I think we might lose the Me Mecklenburg. Kind of depends on. Oh no, she is still stuck in that rudder slide. Now she's recovered. All right. And being pursued. Okay. How is she doing? She is still leaking. That might be permanent flotation damage. 
yeah, that's not a good situation. She has under a third of her flotation left. She automatically detached permanently? Man, I'm fine with that. Just go back home if you're going to do that. Where are you going? Oh yeah, we have those merchants. Elsass. All right, let's come up on speed. Avoid whatever ship that is. Scare it off at least. Mecklenburg's gonna get hit again. Might use her as a decoy and get the most worth out of her if she's gonna sink anyways. Another look, yeah. It's permanent flooding. Almost certain of it. Just lost 10,000 flotation points in the last bit. This is the two battle cruisers, just by watching the way they turn. Let's get out of their torpedo arc. Alright, I'm gonna keep maneuvering. Elsass taking some heavy hits. Rear battery is the strong battery. We'll see if we can lead these battle cruisers. Yeah, see, we have good angling. Well, those are medium guns. I was going to say that was uh, good angling, but the four medium guns, it, it was not a heavy hit. Oh, a couple belt hits. Yeah, that's not doing so good. Let's continue to maneuver. Destroyers continue to get some. Oh, excellent. All right. Turn back towards the Mecklenburg. Continue to escort her. A little bit faster, but not quite max speed. Where are you going now? This is not the right direction. Oh, she's probably taking a direct path back to port, but unfortunately, there are enemies in the way. All right, we'll turn with the Mecklenburg. Getting our heads in. That is actually positively identified as a, a carrier. Turn back in. V1 did something bad. Don't know what she did. The game didn't like it. All right. Humberg is avoiding. Oh, not quite all of them. Wow, that was a lot of torpedoes. I can almost guarantee you the Mecklenburg is done for now. Yep, and this is too dangerous a situation. We gotta turn away. Nice as it would be to get a uh, Russian carrier, we we need to leave. Ships are tough, but they're not invulnerable. Oh, back up to squad max. They pursue us. Okay, drop in speed. S has five. Maybe we should have bought to Raval. Go that way. Enemy shipping, possibly because they're boarding. Hard to know. Well, they're everywhere. Do generally seem to be heading in a northeasterly direction. Nime as well, in the hopes that it'll take them away from the Mecklenburg on the off chance the Mecklenburg has any chance of surviving this. 
find highly questionable. Yep, there she goes. It was bright, it was shiny, it was new. It did glorious battle. Amazing combat with the enemy. I am not disappointed. Ooh! Multiples that out here. This one seems to be going slow. Have we recovered any engine speed? No. I've controlled some of that persistent flooding. There's whoever wants to scare us away from this ship, which they will succeed. I'm not that interested. All right, let's head down this way. Dawn is arriving. And there they are. Scare them away for now. Okay, here's... Nope, they're fleeing as well. There is full daylight. Carrying... Reportedly, three aircraft. Well, that's 9,000 tons. Oh, there's their battle cruiser. Yes, Mecklenburg has sunk. Not surprising. Stay at range. Yeah, they are pursuing. We'll lead them on a chase, that's fine. But with that, I, I really can't keep going too much longer. Recording's running a little bit long. Uh, actually, no, I think we have a couple minutes. So we'll get to see if we can conclude this. I don't think we're going to be able to. Not in the time I have available. There's a hull hit for us. Turn away. Make sure it's glancing hits. Get a hit into them while they're broadside. That's good. They continue to pursue us. That's fine. top are getting into range of some of their stuff so I'm gonna turn back towards ours don't have the right wind gauge to be able to get them to um, deeper into our air cover there's a 14 inch turning away Okay. Too significant. Kind of plinking away at each other from long range. Imagine they are low on ammo as well. Let's turn a little bit. Yeah, they just want to pace us. Turn away. Yeah, there's not much I can do to help the convoy at this point. Enemy bombers taking their chance at the convoy. Some of our ships approaching theirs. Oh, we got one hit. Um hit. On, I think, one of the other battlecruisers up here. 
Uh, I can't tell. Yes. Or they got into Finland. Right. Archipelag is. Yep. Kind of doing S turns. Getting hits on them. They're not really getting any hits on us. Right, some more air of our aircraft approaching. No hits. Oh, no, we get. Oh, wow. Fantastic result. They're aerial torpedoes, though, so they're not quite as effective as shipboard ones. Uh, no, we don't really need to. They're finally departing. They're leaving us alone. Would like one of our operational dreadnoughts to survive. We're getting close on time, but if they stay engaged, we can't end the scenario. What is this ship doing? Sometimes I have to wonder. All right, I think we have finally successfully disengaged. Not at all disappointed with the result. I'm sure the... Okay, they didn't get any bomb hits. And again. The Kaiser will be displeased, but eh. He'll get over it. Our airbase is getting hit again. Yeah, th those are the strikes on ours. And we have controlled all flooding, so... Elsass will survive to fight another day. Only lost one of our destroyers. We did... Did lose the uh, convoy ships, but we still got the bonus for ten of them surviving. Huh, how about that? I suppose that we can call that an overall success. As a result, we, with two of our dreadnoughts, we lost one in glorious, amazing, close, close combat at night for the cost of four of their battle cruisers. Took out one of their heavy cruisers, three of their destroyers. Could have chewed up the screen a little bit better, but I'm not complaining with the res this result at all. You can see kind of how they've done. We scored 251 heavy hits to their 65 of theirs, showing that superior gunnery training. And the fact that these are brand new dreadnoughts with um, advanced fire control. Medium hits I'm not too concerned about. The air details. If you want to see any of this. Wow, a lot of parasite fire fighters. It's cool that those are there now. And uh, actually, out of interest for you all, since I, I know there was some confusion, you probably want to see it. Here's kind of how the battle took place. Kind of squirreled around all over here. This is where all the fighting took place, and this is where they kind of paralleled because they were heading back to base. And then there was some confusion where we were engaging that battle cruiser, and then they finally turned away and went home, but apparently did not make it. Or did? It says they survived. And what about all? You can interpret that. Uh, you're a better man than I. With that, I'm going to leave the scenario, gain our two prestige, and a boatload of victory points. Uh, we are going to... I want to say it was the Braunschweig. I really want to go back and look now. 
I don't want to name the battle after the ship. Ah, it's fine. Can't rename it now anyways. But with that, that was an amazing month made up for the year we were at war and not doing anything. And it's been a while since we had a really good fight, and uh, I think that really paid off. Sorry this episode ran a little bit long. Glad you stuck with me to the end. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I will see you next time. Take care.